Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. I'm Sir Nick, and this is the Road to the Masters. Well, if that intro doesn't get you pumped up for golf, I don't know what's going to. Hello, and welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour Road to the Masters. All right, we are going to play Stroke Play Augusta National, the Masters. Par 72 course, just over 7,500 yards. Founded by Bobby Jones and Clifford Roberts, the legendary Augusta National opened in 1932 and has hosted the Masters since 1934. Could you imagine a two-year-old course hosting such an iconic event ever since? We're going to play all 18. Okay. We've got some big hitters up here. Okay. There's only more to come. But for today, we're going to go as the past champion. And the one I want to see win back to back. If anybody could do it these days, it's going to be Scotty. You know, I've only seen it once in my lifetime with Tiger, but I think he's got a chance. And we're going to do it. We're going to head to Augusta, drive down Magnolia Lane. Let's see what we can do. Now, there it from is. Augusta National Golf Magnolia Club Lane. in Augusta, Georgia, EA Sports so proudly presents this, this looks good on the road to the Masters. Rich Lerner joined up in the booth by Frank Navalo. Frank, there's nothing like it. Early tea time to get the... Got a little fly, fly over here fly. on the first hole. And also, too, you know, the golf course is perfect. You know, Man, this looks real. Divots, um, you don't see any sort of marks on the green. Greens are going to putt beautifully. There's also, you know, there's a, the course is a little bit softer. It's got the moisture from overnight. Um, this, and also, you know, when they've cut the golf course, there's that really green, fresh smell. Like it's brand new. crowd has gathered all right we're flirting with a bunker here early on we could try a power drive I think we should be good pressure's on man crowd goes silent when you tee up and your approach Oh, what a shot. Perfect shot. Oh, Hit the fairway. Holding back right out of the gate. A big one. And that Come is on, Scotty. Beyond the bunker here at hole number one. Look at him walk. Look at him walk. Give the crowd a wave. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 118 left to the hole. Pin all the way on the right. Kind of got that false front here, too. Uh, we're going to play a little safe. Shot. They want. Caddy wants a 56 at the pin. Um, I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna go 50 with the finesse. We got two mile an hour winds. That shouldn't be too too bad. He's at 118. I'm gonna go 124. Let's see what I can do. This is a looking good, good looking gap wedge. Oh, Very nice what shot. a beauty. And first iron shot of the day. That was Absolutely a terrible swing awesome. pass, but. This only about five feet for birdie. Pretty level. A little left to right. I don't know if it's going to break that much. I'm going to try left edge and see if it just trickles in. Oh, and there was no break. Crazy. I got auto tap in for a foot in. 
So I'm most likely not going to miss that. But. So he'll finish that one off. A good chance for birdie at the first goes. Not a good way side. to start. I mean, ball. I thought I had that birdie. I thought I was going to trickle in. Second, I, don't, I don't know. Five yard par five down the hill here at Augusta National. One of two fives on this first nine. This is a place where you can make something happen and jumpstart your round. It's a beautiful looking course. Second hole, par five. If we take a power drive and kind of kind of just ride the, the fairway, we should be in good position for a second approach shot. Oh my god, what a beauty. Oh yeah, exactly where I wanted. And this is going to be 330 a carry. Result. It's going to catch that slope a bit and keep getting better here at hole keep number going. two. That's what I like to see. 374. He's pumped. He's pumped. From the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Hole is sitting in the eagle location. Back right players are going to look at this and really try and be aggressive. Ball is set Let's up to go see. left to right, which is exactly what this shot requires. All right, so we, we want a little fade in. We got two mile an hour at our face. Pins at 200, uh, 200 sorry. 200. Holes 23 feet below us. So we want to be short. We're going to play aggressive here. We're going to play uh, not too aggressive because that wind. I don't know how much that's going to affect our shot here. So maybe... 193 7 iron. I'll be good. Okay, we got a look at Eagle here. We've got a look at Eagle. What a shot by Scotty. I don't know what's up with his eye there. He's got a little green glint in it. So now this, just inside, 20 feet. Or eagle. Okay, we are down. We are uphill going down. Okay. Maybe this is gonna break a little harder. I don't let's see. The crowd goes silent. They're like shh, they're whispering. Hmm. I don't wanna shoot it past the hole either. We're gonna try this. Oh, it did not break. Or I'm sorry. It wasn't that enough. Run but at it. That would have been a nice eagle, but couldn't quite find it. I'm gonna read that break well. Okay. Let's see if he can knock this in. And it's for birdie. Scotty to go birdie. It is early, but he kind of needed that one. Had to take advantage. Yeah, here. we needed that. And he did just that. So good work. And he's one under through two. Thank you. Thank you. Now to the short par four third, only 350 yards. I think one of the more underrated holes on this golf course. We know those five pars plus the 12th on that second nine gets so much attention, and rightly so. Might but be this able to drive this. Wonderful hole, strategic. And you need some touch here. I like how they got the cameraman up there too. We go a power drive. Eh, probably. Eh, maybe with the wind. I don't know. But we're 13 foot up, so I doubt we're going to drive it. But if we do, we'll set up good for another eagle chance. 317. Okay. If not, we'll probably just get a nice wedge shot. I don't know how much this wind's going to affect. Probably not much. Oh no. Oh, a miss there. That is way right. You've hit the tree. And this is going to come down and lodge itself in the second cut. Now looking good for Scotty. So on from the, off the fairway, on the third. second, now at three. Okay, second cut. I guess we're gonna try to finesse again. 
We're going to leave it a little... Uh, four inches high. We're going to leave it a little short. See how this plays out. Sit. All right, not bad. I like that. Let's see if we get up and down for Bird. Eight feet remaining here for Birdie. Okay. I'm still learning how to read these greens. Uh, I had, I, we had the one that broke a ton and one that didn't. Let's just see if we could poke it in there. Uh, that's got to slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. I got a feeling putting is going to be the death of me today. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue. All right, our, my goal. Now to the fourth, an excellent par three. This my goal would be like solid three under. I don't you can't fake it three, four on this under. hole. You're happy to walk away with three. Oh, great. I'll be happy to walk away with three, huh? Yeah, 241 yard, yard par four, par three, sorry. 31 to uh, I'm trying a four iron. No, we're going to go four iron. Uh, four iron finesse. Should we do it? Scheffler has such a slow backswing. That needs to sit. Oh, that was going to hit the pin. Not good. Yeah, this is a tee shot that's perplexed many a golfer over the years. That's, that's going to that wind up trap being too is long. And off the back of this fourth green. A bit nerve wracking. Texas wedge it. I'm gonna flop it. Let's see what the flop shot does. Get there. Mm. One of the hardest things in golf is to turn three shots into two. And with that beautiful use of the flop shot, it's a good chance really to get up and down. A little more power to get there. Yep, good work. And we save a par. In for a par. We moved out a hole number five, Magnolia, a par four at a stout 495 yards. Avoiding the two deep bunkers left of the fairway is a must, but a sloped green full of little hollows makes getting an approach to birdie range no small feat. Heads back into the right a bit. I don't think we should come in contact with these bunkers. Tee it high and let it fly. Going off to the right a bit. This should be good. Just what you want at this point around. Okay. Trying to Not find bad. a rhythm. Not bad. Hit fairways. Hit the Scotty's happy the about place. it. That's what they did. Defending right champ. There. Okay. Pins at 203, six foot under. We got wind at her face a little bit. Approach shot. Two. Two weights. Farthest I could go with this club. Six iron in. Ball's a bit above our feet. Might go left. I don't know. We'll see. It is going left, but I think because I pulled it. That was pin high, though. We got a long putt. We got to clean up these shots, we Scotty. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Now, it would be tempting to leave this one short. You can worry so much about the break that you forget to hit it. Demands a firm stroke. Okay, our plan is to make a birdie. 
Come on, trickle in. Oh, that was low from the start. I thought that was going in. So we'll it was a nice shot. To Got to capitalize on those birdies, though. All right, we got Another a possible good birdie here. On this first nine, it's the 180-yard par Ooh. three sixth, elevated tee, two-tier <laughs> green. Chance to make it two, but look you at need that to be pin placement. The tee. Can't go short and can't go long. That is not a lot of green to work with. Where the pin's at? All right, pin pin's at 193. 23 feet, wind at our back, too. We got people below us. Oh, yeah, we do. We got a little crowd below us. Let's see what we could do. Come on, Scotty. Get up. Get up there. Sit. Sit. That's gonna catch that lip. Son of a gun. That's not what you want to see, boys. Uh, that one unable to hold the green. It'll come back into the fairway. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do that flopper again. Five foot up. Get close. Okay. Good chance to save par after that beautiful flop shot. Looked in Pretty trouble there at one straight. Stage. Maybe a hair left. And we're in for par. Minus okay. For the day. Three holes left on the front on nine. To hole number seven. It is a par four at an even 450 yards in length. Anything into the oh, look at that green though. running the length of the fairway. Surrounded yeah, times lead to a bogey or worse with the three front bunkers preventing any thoughts of running one up to the green. Right, we got an open fairway. We're going to we're going to let it rip. Why am I leaking right? Get a kick left. Mm, not what you want to see. Stay out of the pine straw. And that will not be the desired outcome. I it's don't into know. The second cut. Here at seven, this is second from off the fairway. I don't know if this tree above us is in play. I really don't. I highly think it is, though. I don't know if we're going to do a punch shot. Let that sit. Oh boy. I'll try a punch shot and hopefully it sits. I don't know. I think this tree is in play above us. Ball's below our feet. It's going to go right a bit. Oh no. That sucked. I've never mm, hit a punch from shot, the so I don't know. Into the bunker or the frying pan into the fire. Sometimes mistakes, they just have a way of compounding themselves. I like how I still see the trail. Ooh. Oh, the hands That's came a good save out of the sand. There. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. So oh, 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 oh baby. It'll keep him at one under. All right, we got to we got to look at the maybe eagle, I don't know, on this so par 5. So the second hole, the par 5 is considerably downhill. The eighth is up the hill. 
you can certainly make an eagle here, but it requires two good shots and maybe a little luck. If you play it off the right, it'll kick down and leave you within eagle range. I don't know. That's a that's a back left pin position. We'll have a look, possibly. We need to clear this bunker. Hang on to your seats, crowd. Oh, no. Get over. Get over it. No, nope, well, that's going to get into the bunker that right sucks. here at eight. And that is not going to be one that you can get a lot of club on. Oh, no. So a second shot note from the bunker. No way I can take a four iron Medicine out of here. bunker up the right side. If you find your ball in here, you have no option but to lay up. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Look at this lip. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to take a, a wedge. There's no way this is going to clear with the... God, I hope. Get out. That sucks. Yeah, that's a good shot. Sand takes away any chance of going for the green in two, but this is a nice recovery here to get back on track. So going well up the hill to that green will need to take an extra club here. Yeah, I'm gonna say like a nine iron finesse. 144 pin. We have two mile an hour winds. 144, we're going to play 10 yards up. 154. Also a 19 foot difference. Let's see if this is the club. I don't think this tree's in play. Oh, that's, that's, we're long. Probably should have played like 150. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost, like, took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Let's see what a spin. I guess we're going to have to pitch it. Chip it. Hopefully this is a run. Not at all. There's five feet left. Scotty, you need to sink this to save. Woo. One under for the round. One under going to going into nine. Part 4 ninth is intriguing here at Augusta National. This is where you can see just how hilly the golf course is. It may not show up on television that way, but you can certainly feel it as you make your way up to this ninth green. There's a pin. Hugging the left side near the bunkers. I think we have a good tee shot that we could... Should be good. Catch this slope, roll down. Oh, whoa. We're hitting it. Yeah, that is a wonderful t shot. Right where you want to be here at hole number nine. He's happy about it. Got a little green speck From in his eye, though. We check in with Noda. Well, from this section of the fairway, you have an opportunity to get the ball close to the back third of this green. It's going to require some good calculations on yardage and proper execution to get the ball to sit on the right plateau. All right. Depends at 119. We're going to, no, sorry, 111. We're, we're at 119. Aiming at 119. Can we do a finesse 56 up?
Come on, Scotty. Get up there. Sit. No. No. Okay. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish. He likes it, still, I don't. Look here at Birdie. Two yes, feet. This putt, well, it does have a little bit of movement in it, but it's all about the pace. You've got to give it a good clout to get up this slope. A nasty break, it looks like. I'm trying it here. Uh, yeah. Had the right power. I pulled it. Not much break. Yeah, that's a nice putt. Getting it there up the hill was the pace. The this got there just a little Not wide the of the mark. This is a little scary. These short putts like this with this angle. Come on, Scotty. Just a tiny there for part of the good. And that's gonna All right, be we're necessary. one under one under thirty five at the turn on this first nine. Start of the Not second bad. nine here at Augusta National is also the start of a different Not going to win the Masters stretch. with that, These though. two par fours, 10 and 11, all you want, and then you get up to that challenging little par 312. Yeah, that bunker shouldn't be in play for us, though. Pins in the back. Again, we're going to catch this slope downhill. A nice little second shot approach. What a beauty. He's starting up the right side. Is it a little long? Oh, no. Am I going to have a tree in the way? And the tee shot hit right of center. So that's going to leave a lengthy second shot in the vicinity of 200 yards. The biggest problem here is going left because this green is perched up. If no. you miss the screen on the left, it'll run all the way down the hill on the left side. Really? Okay. We're 13 feet. Holds 13 feet on there. 161. Uh, we also had. Play 155 and head right. Balls below our feet. I don't know if it's going to want to push right or not. Hopefully, this tree is in our way either. Oh, that's looking good. It's looking good. All right, we need to capitalize on this uh, one. Good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This is an 11 foot putt. 11 foot, little right to left. Maybe like a cup, cup and a half. I'm feeling good about here. Eh, maybe a little in. I don't know. Let's, go, let's try it. A little more power. Come back. Come back. Oh, too read much. There. Definitely good speed. And that just too much. So by. Come on, Scotty. So we'll tidy that up for his car, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. Come on. We need more circles on the on board, buddy. To the second hardest hole in Masters history, the 520-yard Par four I'm pretty Eli. sure they stretched the this one out too. The great Bobby Jones always wanted there to be a wide gap between a good tee shot and a bad one. Thus, in keeping with that spirit, this hole was lengthened 15 yards back in 2022. Yeah. We got a hole 12 in the background there. Make me a little nervous with that uh, that water. Trees on the right shouldn't be in play. Oh, God, the sound of that freaking driver. Yep, it's going to play well. That is into the fairway. And the crowd goes wild. Now, one of the tougher second shots in golf, the second. You're at 11. Okay, Caddy wants us to go with a six iron. 
I'll go with that, but I'm going to go shorter. Pins at 198. We've got a bit of wind, and we're 17 feet under. We're like a 190. This guy has a really slow backswing. Going right. Sit. Okay. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for birdie. We've got a birdie opportunity. Come on, Scotty. Level. I think it's kind of like the last one. Maybe a little more out. A little less? No. Yeah, maybe. Just give it a whack. Short! Just gonna sneak on by. I don't know how to read these greens yet. Okay. Come on, Scotty. Well, Give me no two under. This golf course are the colors more vibrant oh, than no. right here. Hole number twelve, so easy on the Look eyes. Look at that beautiful hole so right there. So much harder is figuring the mysterious winds. The answers lie somewhere near the top of those towering it's pines. It's a terrifying that green. Georgia sky, Augusta's beguiling beauty, Golden Bell. And the wind is circling. Okay. Um. And if we go short, we're dropping. He wants a nine iron. I like that play. I think I'm going to do a finesse nine, even at the back green. I don't know where this wind's gonna push this ball. Should should be good. And look at that wind. Sit. All right, not bad. Okay, not bad. just outside of ten feet, and a birdie chance here at number twelve. Not bad. I like that, especially on hole twelve. Uh, we got the bridge. That's pretty cool. This is a 13 footer. And it's pretty straight, is it not? We have one that go, two that go left, and it goes right, and three. Oh boy. If I, it's, it's all up to me. I think it's pretty straight. I'm gonna go inside left edge a little bit like this here. But if I don't pull it, should be should should make it. Scotty to go two under. And he drops it. Let's go. Let's go. Hole number 13, this is regarded by most as the greatest par five in the world. Why the risk reward that's involved and all the history that's been written here at this wonderful hole. We got an e eagle opportunity here. Could go four. Could go four under here. This looks good. I mean, look at all those. Man. It's good to have Augusta back. Okay, I think I'm gonna. I think we should be good with a power drive. Those trees shouldn't be in play. Oh, striped it. Get up. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I guess it got the 90% air, but that ball actually went through that tree. We're good. Settle down, Scotty. We're good. We're good. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Ball's above our Great feet. Great place to go after this green from the left side of the fairway. Player able to control their ball flight and hopefully control the spin to get it close. 
Things at 197, we're gonna play a two. Ooh. It's nine foot up, but we also have two mile an hour winds at our back. Kind of going to the right. We'll play a 205 shot with a six iron. Good old divot. Sit. Dang. Okay. Frank, you know you've been in the spot. It is one we gotta, of the we gotta most look at Eagle. anticipated shots in it's the a long entire one. sport. The second at 13 at Augusta National. How do you do with that one? That was great, Rich. This is the most famous par five in the in the world. One of the reasons why, too, not just the dog leg left that the hole presents, but the uneven lie for the second shot that had to be hit good and oh was indeed. I really don't know how this is gonna react. Scotty Scheffler for Eagle. A little more power. Oh, stay up. No. Okay. It's not a gimme. It's not a gimme for sure. Can we go three under? Right around six feet here for birdie. I think it's straight, actually. Yes, a good look at that one all the way in. It's a birdie. We're three Push under. That scored a three under for the round. This 14th hole at 440 yards is a good one. The real challenge three here under is, with five is to the play. Green. Let's go. Two time Masters champion Ben Crenshaw considered this to be one of the most difficult in golf. Look at that false front right there. We are staying away from that. The crowd is gathered around. Okay, you know what? We are gonna let this rip. It's gonna trickle down to the right side of the fairway. Should have a good opportunity. Oh yeah, beautiful. Well, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Wonderful tee shot. Thank you. Thank you. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic mm. design of the green, cut into three separate sections, guarded by an amazing false front where the ball will come all the way off the front edge. Yeah, look at that thing. Okay, Caddy wants us hitting a 50, 50 degree, six foot up. Playing 10 yards more. I think I'm going to do a 50, but I'm going to do... Play at 126, 125. Kind of a... So ball, balls below our feet. I don't know. I don't really know if that really affects it, but... It's going to push right if it does. So I'm aim left. We also have wind left. Let's see where she goes. This one's looking good. Oh, it's looking really good. Oh, what a shot! No, I don't have my tape measure, but that looks like I walk six, seven feet in there. But that is an excellent approach shot. A great opportunity here for birdie. I'm thinking left edge. Scotty for birdie. Oh, and I pull it. Oh, that's a good opportunity unfulfilled. No. It could have been four under and I pull it. Shake of the head there with that nearly a birdie, but they don't have to be content with a par. We come now to the Dang instantly it. recognizable hole number 15. It's we got a long par five. Traditionally, it has been the second easiest hole on I the course. I think this one was behind only number 13. Stretched out too. But it was lengthened in 2022 with an extra 20 yards added on. Yeah, extra 20 Making yards. that potential carry over the pond with a second shot that much tougher. 
It's good looking green. It's a good looking green. Well, we have an opportunity for Eagle here. Again, we're gonna tee it high, let it fly. Maximum power, baby. This one starting a hair right. That's good. It's good. It's gonna get a nice Beautiful little members tempo. kick. That swing is gonna wind up oh, yeah. squarely in the fairway. What do we have? 218 to the hole. Yeah. yeah, he likes it. Decision time now. Take on the pond or not. He is second at 15. Okay, pins at 218. I think I'm gonna do a six iron. Pond is not gonna be in play. A little low on the club. Ball's above our feet. Maybe go left. I don't know, it didn't really go right on the last one, so I'm, I'm gonna stick at the pin. Oh, that's right on the line. It's got a sip though. Oh, get in. Get in, baby. What a okay, shot by Scotty. The board here at the par 5, 15th hole in two. Well done, Frank. Oh. Off the downhill lie, that ball just hung in the oh, that's awesome. for a little wall. And then that is deck. awesome. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Scotty. For Eagle. Left edge. Push it in, baby. Let's go! Oh, that's big. That's the champ right there. As he'll walk away with an eagle. We arrive now at the 170 yard par 3 16th, played entirely over water to a green flank by three bunkers. Like I love this par 3. Augusta, precision off the tee here is key. This is probably my make a second. Eh third favorite I'd say first would be TPC Sawgrass hole 17 and then the 12th hole with the Masters here but I like this one too all right pins at 185 four foot up two mile an hour winds I'm kind of sticking right at it I'd say can we finesse it yeah finesse it with a seven iron go right at it Maybe here. I sh we should be good. Perfect power. Where I wanted it. Get up. No, no! Why? Why? Now from the bunker. That could have been Just good. Just a little splash out on this path, right? All right, we're going to do a pick. Leaks a little right. Come on. Get it close, Scotty. Get it close, Scotty. There we go, boy. Oh, he is a man on a mission. Another excellent shot. This one from the greenside bunker. What a save for par. Great sand save that was, lets him walk away with par. Should have been 600 there. This par there. 17th at 440 yards, one of the most famous in the sport. This is where in 1986, Jack Nicklaus, at the age of 46, made the birdie putt. Vern Lundquist on the call. I think we've got the room. Oh yeah. Beauty. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Uh, From the fairway, they gotta Iona, fix that. this is second. They gotta fix that. He's in a good spot. 135 yards left to the flag. Pin in the middle, so it's a green light. I 
135 pin, two mile an hour, play a four, once 139. Did I do something with the camera? To say it kind of looks different. A little less power. Oh, we need to get up. Get up. Not bad. Oh, Not bad. That's going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Let's just slide a bit right. It's for birdie. A cup and a half outside. Not enough. Now that one's gonna go begging. You miss his right. I know. I know, there. buddy. I know. You ain't reading well today. So he cleaned that up for his part. All right. Safely. Can we go six under? Five under for his right. Hole 18, baby. One more to go. Well, the difficulty here at the finishing hole, this famous 465 yard par for 18th, is that you are coming out of a narrow shoot off the tee, and it is steeply up the hill. Good drive, though, puts you in position to maybe make a birdie. Right, we got that front pin location, too. We'll have bunker in play. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Do I want to go power drive? And smack it? Or what? Kind of a blind t shirt on the right. Favor on the right side. <sighs> you know what? Let's go for it. Big play. Wins champions. Championships. Oh, that's good. That's good. Stop before the sand. Oh, that a beautiful tee shot through the shoot here at 18. That is going to be ideal. Look this bump. Oh, from an ideal glint in the eye. Still the fairway. This is second. All right. Nine iron finesse. Power approach. I don't know what that means. Okay, pins at 138. It's 33 feet up. We need to. We have wind at our back, kind of. 145. We want to be long and short. Ball's below our feet. I don't know if it's going to... I doubt it's going to go right a bit. But See what you got, Scotty. Mm. I don't like it either, buddy. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Hopefully this clears this freaking lip. Do you see this thing? Ball's way below our feet. It's probably going to go right. I, I hope. Here we go. No, it does not. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the It's not a gimme right though. There. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Scotty, okay, good putt. five good under safe par at the at Masters. And that's going to be a round of 67. Okay. Well, that about wraps it up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Novello. Really enjoyed it, Frank. Yeah, it's been a good day out here. Once again, we've seen the golf course give more than it takes. But Frank Novello, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. Well, that was a good, that was a good match. Um, this game looks good, feels good. It's very difficult in some aspects. Uh, but I just need more practice, man. But drop a comment down below. Who's going to win the Masters? Who do you want to win the Masters? Like I said, I'm going with my boy, Scotty Shuffler. I want to see him win back-to-back. -back.
but give this video a like if you guys want uh, like a full series on a career mode let me know down in the comments below as well so i'll see you next time i'm gonna, I'm gonna go practice war man this is this is fun <laughs>